Welcome back to our continuing review of chapter 8, which is dealing with forces in nature. The force in nature that we'll be dealing with uh, in this lesson is force caused by friction. This problem states a 30 kilogram box is being pulled across a surface with a frictional coefficient of uh, 0 0.150. How much force is required to get the box moving? Okay, since we're dealing with static friction, of course, we're going to have to try to get the box moving. Static friction means that the box is at rest and we're trying to get it to move. This friction is causing it to resist moving. So, the formula that we'll be using to solve for this is the force caused by static friction is equal to the coefficient of static friction times the normal force. To, to, uh, we're given this uh, static friction here as 0.150 but we need to find the normal force from the mass that's given. To find this normal force, we say the force of weight is equal to mass times gravity, which is equal to the normal force. In this case, since the box is on a level plane, which I'll draw the box here, it's on a level plane with a friction surface, the force caused by weight is acting down on the box, and the normal force is acting directly opposite of that. In this case, since there's no forces, other forces acting in the uh, in the vertical direction, the force caused by weight and the normal force are equal and opposite. So, since we're not talking about direction, we're just talking about magnitude. They're going to be equal in this case. So, to find the normal force, we can just say the normal force is equal to the mass, which is 30 kilograms times gravity, which is 9.8. Okay, so we can now take this and substitute it into our friction formula. So the force caused by static friction is equal to the coefficient of static friction, which is given here, as 0 0.150. And inserting the normal force into our equation gives a value of 30 times 9.8. Okay, now all we have to do is multiply these three numbers together and it'll give us the force caused by static friction. So, on our calculator, we'll type that in real quick. And it gives us a value of 44.1 newtons. Okay, since this is the force caused by static friction, this is also the force that it requires to get it moving. If you exceed this force even by the smallest amount, the box will begin to move. So this is our answer, and that concludes this problem.